We have an incredible live picture to start this broadcast off with right now. In the center of your screen, in the visor with number 261, proudly on her bib, Catherine Switzer. The first official woman to run the Boston Marathon back in 1967. Doing it again here 50 years later at the age of 70. And running it with an official number, but no one at that time knew she was a woman. Catherine Switzer entered as K.V. Switzer. No one was the wiser, assuming she was a man. And from Heartbreak Hill on, she said she knew that she was running for much more than just herself. She said now she runs to give women opportunities around the world, particularly in places where they're not allowed to go to school, where they're not allowed to drive, where they don't have the freedoms that we enjoy in this country and in so many others. And you see that big hug there. Catherine Switzer running this race today on the 50th anniversary of her run in 1967 when Jock Semple, the BAA race director, tried to bounce her off the course when someone on the lead truck said, hey, there's a woman in this race. And we've seen the incredible footage of it. She says it was terrifying at the moment. It was the worst thing that ever happened to her, she said, at the moment. But she finished that race, and she finished the race again today. Big smile on her face. She said she was just running just to soak it all in today. She had to set a time for herself. She had no expectations. But I tell you what, Lisa, some of the people who helped to organize the race about an hour and a half ago told me, we think she's coming in at 3.58. And didn't she come in almost to the minute? She kept a great pace. She made it. And there oh, she is with the BAA B president. That's right. Joanne Flaminio giving Catherine Switzer a big hug right there. Catherine Dedrit today joined by 125 members of the Fearless 261 team and seven men in that group among all those women because she said that day in 1967, men took care of her on that course. And she holds that medal up very, very proudly. Catherine knew more than a year ago she wanted to come back and celebrate the 50th anniversary of that race and she did it in such an inclusive wonderful way and just to give you an idea of how things have changed 50 years later more than 13,000 women ran here today she didn't just change the marathon she changed competitive running and running in general here in America.